We are back from California and we are going thrifting. We have mom and dad in the car, one last hurrah, and we're hoping to find some good stuff. Yeah, I actually don't have anything I'm looking for specifically today. So, you know, if we can get something, I feel like something antique is waiting for me. I love finding antiques that are actually old at the thrift store. Is your is your knee telling you that there's an antique? My knee's telling me that it's raining and that the pool's <laughs> moving in. All right, well, let's see what we can find. There beyond the great divide But I'll be coming, coming home soon First find, we've got this gorgeous plate here. Looks like a Bavarian plate here. This is really pretty. No markings, but I don't know if that's hand painted, but it is really pretty. I don't know why this store always has the best dishes. So this one is definitely hand painted from Bavaria little chip in it but I love that little like handle off to the side I wonder if you can just like hang it on a wall or something I don't know what that's for comment below if you know why there's a handle in this Ooh, cedar chest they're already open they've been open 10 minutes let's see what we can find out here oh that's this is hand painted on here maybe not maybe it's like a inlay of sorts I like the metal handles the wrought iron handles on here might have to get it and do something on my own. Three bucks. I like this wood frame, but dare I get another frame? Oh, the matting. It's uh, Native American on here. That's actually pretty cool. Looks like Cocopelli, Indians, maybe Hopi. I don't know. I'm probably way off on that, but I like the wood frame. Well, that's a giant shelf right here. Is it two of them put together? Oh, it looks like it's two corner shelves that someone put together. Um, that's going to come home for five bucks. They always have the best blue dishes here. Like, if you like blue dishes, definitely come to the Riverton DI thrift store because they separate them out. And so you can really just see all the colors because look how pretty that is. It's done perfectly all the way down. Ooh, I like that rolling pin. That's cute. And the spoon. I love the turned handle on that ladle. Okay. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I like, for three bucks, it's hard to pass them. I like this one better than this guy with the wreath. I'll think on it. All right, I'm not going to think on it. It's better to grab it and put it in your cart and decide later you don't want it than to leave it there and miss out on it all together. I think this is French crystal, $5 each original bowl. I'll pick up both of these. It's in good shape. It's a nice heavy. Oh, it's got seams on it. That's weird. Even though it says lead crystal, I've never seen it with seams. I think I'm going to pass on this because I'm not a fan of that. Randomly found a tool for me. Just a little rigid uh, speed wrench, half inch. Totally snagging that. No globe on it, but we've got this old oil lamp sitting up in here. $1.50 for it. Still got the wick in there. I bet you we could find a globe. So you can buy them online. You can buy them at Ace Hardware. Yeah. I'm looking for little frames to put my grandparents. Oh shoot, it's missing the roses. And it's two dollars. I'm gonna pass on that. I'm looking for little frames, and I'm trying to do more photos of my family. All right, no frames I can't live without, but I'll check next week for more frames for family photos. Look at what's hiding up here on the corner. Looks like someone's busted his ears off, though. That's no good. All right, do we uh, do we pop on it? How much is it? Five dollars. Needing repairs and being five dollars, I'm actually gonna pass because that's 
quite a bit of work to mold these ears and get them on there. But if it was like $1.50, I probably would get it. I know it's only $3.50 we're talking about, but I don't feel like doing the work for the extra three and a half bucks because I'm not going to be able to sell it for what it's worth to fix those ears. There's a Santa on this cart. He looks a little worse for wear. Might have to glue that up. I don't know. Seven bucks. Looks like he moves around and dances. He plugs in. Hey, that's that's a good book. Three dollars. I have one of these at home and I paid a lot more than that for it. I'm definitely going to grab this one. I think I'm going to skip on the clocks today. There's nothing here that I'm like, oh man, I got I got to have that. That's kind of cool clock back there, but I want $4 for it. I got two clocks I need to fix and finish at home still, so I'm going to hold off on those. You know that we always love a good cookie jar. Look at this one. It's so cute. $3 and a cute little pasta container. I think I might could mat color match that. So I'm going to get both of these. Classic example of sprayed on copper. That's just paint. Littlest, littlest little desk here. $2. That's so cute. Also, Zeb, what do you have to say for yourself? I, I have like an empty cart and I was hoping you would be coming in clutch. I mean, I got this. This is actually two corner shelves I'm thinking about, but I might put it back. I don't love that one. Yeah, I it's wasn't cool, but... Either, but, you know, I was like, oh, maybe. It's like one of those pick it up in case. Yeah. We'll see what we can find. We, yeah, got, we got time. Over in the metal section here, these red baskets, two of them, they're going to come home with me. I can get them free, $2 a piece. Oh, and they've got some stuff on the front. Oh, it says happy holidays. That metal tin I don't think is gonna make it. All right, so it was $2. I think it's some sort of metal and it's like a mini coat rack and I don't know why I need it, but I'm gonna buy it. Does anybody remember last week I was talking about how I needed more of these chairs? I just found three of them for $10 each. So I went out to the yard. I found zero things except for I did get those chairs. So that was a win. I'm gonna make one more pass. Jamie's back hunting a couple of collectibles, but I think it's been a while since we've only bought, like we filled up maybe a half a cart today. And usually we come out of there with two. So we got to go to another thrift store. We'll see what we find. So we didn't really find enough stuff at the one thrift store and everybody's always saying they want us to thrift longer. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to head over to the Saratoga Springs Desert Industries. Hopefully we get a little more. I did get some things in California, so I'm going to put that footage in now so you can see my California trip. I'm not sure if that'll make it back this week, so I have to make sure we have enough stuff for the thrift haul. Okay. Did you survive without me? Did you go hungry? I didn't go hungry, but I was. I did miss you a lot. I missed you a lot, too. We are, it's a gloomy California Friday, but yeah. we are headed to Kobe's swap meet. We're going to take you along. We have a bunch of friends meeting us there and hopefully we find some goodies. It's Debbie's excited. First, you too. First purchase of the day, three dollar toolbox. I'm just gonna give it to Debbie because I know that she can make it cute. I didn't even look inside. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, it's got the. I always love it when they have the trays because these are actually cute to just use separately. All right, so deal number two. I've never seen anything like this. It is stamped, so I'll have to look that up. It was $3 for this pot and then $5 for all of the silverware and the finger jointed box. So I think that was pretty good. So I just picked these up. This was $5 and then I splurged. I spent 15 on these, but I love them. I love that they have the curved handle so that way they can just hang behind a stove or a baking station. So cute. So we just 
met up with Rhino and Debbie bought this really cool. Show them what it does, Debbie. Okay, so, so it, it flips around flat so I can put it in my car and then I'm gonna have Grandpa build some rustic scrap wood shelves for it and it'll be like the perfect display. It's gonna be so good. I'm so jelly. 20 bucks. $20, but I don't think I can sell it. No, no, that's like a, a really good inventory because you can put all different shelves and yeah. But for four hundred dollars, she might be interested. So hit her up. Take me out to California. Take me out to California. I feel the day is coming to an end, and my eyes are drawn to southern skies. And all the while, I was trying to pretend. The promised land was there beyond the great divide But I'll be coming, coming home soon Yeah, I'll be coming, coming home soon So take me out to California Where the sun is always high Where the streets are paved with gold And no one ever gets old Okay, so when you junk, you have to pay the Pied Piper. First box done. Debbie and I are actually all dolled up for church. So cute. And we're packing up all my junk to go back home because it's not that expensive to ship from California to Utah. Maybe 20 bucks a box, 30 tops. I am going to leave this finger jointed box here because Debbie loves these kinds of things. And it'll be so much easier to just put these in a padded mailer. And you know what that is? That's proprietary painterly paint. Not in the correct tubes because this is like pre-production, but we'll be making some videos on it. Proprietary painterly pre-production paint. That's a lot of alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Debbie, I was like, my, my people want to see the paint. So she parted with some. These aren't full tubes, so don't get your, no, go and like, get your hopes up. But like an ounce or two in there. We shook it to cover for the photography. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to do some fun stuff. So watch for that. <laughs> All right, two boxes going from Solana Beach to Lehigh, Utah. Yeah. Coming, coming real soon. So take me out to California where the sun is always high, where the streets are paved with gold and no one ever gets old. In Saratoga Springs. Let's see if we can find anything good. Starting in the glass aisle and then looking at some greenery, see if they have any foliage. This is interesting. I like that actually. Oh, well, it's got a split there. I wonder if I can, I think I can glue that together. Well, I sure like this, but look, that's a $7. Or is that two? Oh, it's two. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. I wasn't going to pick it up for seven, but I will for two. Little dollar wreath. That's cute. We're at the Saratoga thrift store, and it's been so long since I've been here that they've completely mixed their split. They've completely mixed their displays around. Oh, look at that. Yes. I'm going to get that one. I might redo that face. You see how it's all pixelated? I'm going to go ahead and redo that. That's fake printed rust. This is kind of fun. Little folk art hand paint job. Oh, knob came off. If this was like a metal frame like I got the other day, I probably would have sprung for it, but I think it's just foam. It feels it feels plasticky. It's not not metal for sure, but fun big frame. Going down this the dish aisle. That's pretty but not old. 
interesting. It's like a glazed terracotta. That's fun. You know me and little plates. That's a winner. Oh, I love this set. I've actually had a bunch of these and I sell them individually. So I'm going to grab this so I can add it to that set that I already have. I know some of them have already sold. I'm definitely, definitely going to grab these. These are actually the same glasses that we have at the house. And I always just thrift them. I love them for a dollar each. So they rearranged it. It used to be a bunch of glassware and they put all the sporting goods on this side. It's been a while since we've been to this thrift store. All right, next up, clocks. We buy these all the time. They're solid wood, super cute. $5, I feel like that's worth it. Well, what do we have here? A cherub, look at that, holding a Christmas present. $4, that's so cute. Sweet little McCoy pitcher. Usually they don't have that over here. That's a good find. It's interesting, a seashell pitcher. I'm gonna pick that up. Be cute in like a little coastal cottage. Cute little Japanese creamer. This is missing the lid. It's a matching sugar dish, but how cute would this be with a little succulent planted in it, even with a chip? I like the color. Marble utensil holder, $3. It's cute. I like that a lot, actually. You know I love anything sparkly, so I'm definitely gonna pick up this tinsel. It's like tin, uh, made with like pipe cleaner almost, but it's stiff. It doesn't have a price, but I'm guessing it'll be a couple bucks. I spied this across the aisle and I thought it might be uh, crystal, but it's just pressed glass. I like it enough, I still might get it. I'm, I'm on the fence. So what do you guys think about this carriage light for the cottage? They're $5 each. And if Seb doesn't wire them, we could just use like solar light bulbs, but I think he could easily wire these up. There's two of them and they're black and cute. I'm gonna grab them. If worst case, I'll donate them again for five bucks each. All right, we got something down here. I'm having to dig a little. $4 for this, looks like hardwood tray. Galvanized corners. All right, look at this. There were two, this one's missing a topper, but that's cute. I'm gonna grab this for $2. That's a blustery rainy day here in Utah. Fall is beautiful, but we know winter's coming. There's already snow on the mountains. So how much did we spend all total? All total today with the chairs and everything, I think we're around like $110. Not oh, a big day. Yeah, no. And those chairs are for me. So, well, maybe. We'll see. But I feel pretty good about that. I spent about, I think, $30, $40 when I was in California. And that stuff will get here eventually. So if it can get here by Saturday, we'll be good. Yeah, we got enough. And, and you can figure out how to jangle all this in. Look, Zeb thinks he's tough. He's out here with no jacket, no sweater. It's... 40 something and raining and windy regular day just a regular day all right so i didn't really film it you'll see it in the end of the video but i found some antique silver under the glass it's silver plate but still very old pretty excited about that i'm excited about my chairs that i found it was just last week that i said i really wanted to get chairs that match the wood ones that i already had and i haven't seen any in probably like two years and it's funny how when you put it out to the universe. <laughs> Sometimes things come back at you. So super excited about those chairs and a lot of the really fun things that we picked up in California. Hopefully they get back by this Saturday yeah. so they can be in this week's thrift haul. Make sure you're tuning in Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time. To pick up paint products and thrifted items, visit JanuaryVintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to January Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode.